more faith, no religion. Cut the grass slow, see the snakes, better vision. Circumcision paws, cut their heads off. Loyalty, no provision of boss. Y'all gon' learn y'all lesson. Class in what's the science? We the tape brothers. Every time you speak real, they take something. Either your life, freedom, or money. But them snakes coming. 300, yeah, we might be few, but heart off a sparring. Niggas carry sticks to make that bread. Not talking Olive Garden, darling, Parton, looking like Dolly Parton. Please get the The energy that flows here is male and female energy. Male energy is focused, and female energy is creative and random. The left brain is the male energy side of the brain. It is orderly, statistical, logical, and mathematical. It sees things in straight lines, rational, and practical. The Man, when we got man, masculine and female energy. Yes. The thing about it is how to balance it. And I mean, and the properties of the masculine, and the properties of the feminine energy, and like, level who you are. We the right brain is the female energy side of the brain. It is our creative side, a free spirit. It is passion and experience of taste and feeling, movement and art as is the same with the energy. Welcome back to episode 73, part two. Like we always do, like, share, subscribe. If you get any value out of the content, help us get in the al algorithm is free. And of course, you're nothing. We try to spread the word, but they agree, disagree is positive. I give likes on what you, uh, other stuff that much it makes it means nothing. That means nothing. I mean, like I said, if you get any value out of it, let's give likes for charity. If you get any value, rock with us. Give me and give get the likes and the, um, hit the like button and fucking smash that notification bell. And I mean, as well. But we're gonna get into the woman loneliness epidemic part two. Hope you like part one. And we touched on part one. Um, why so much women ending up by themselves? And do men have a part to play on it? We had a clip from Kevin Samuels showing to the young lady and. Yeah, we touched on a few bases on it, but now we're gonna go into the next one. Um, next video is gonna be a spiritual official, and we, on this topic, we're gonna talk about what can a woman do to change in the future and stop the cycle for the next generation. Well, yeah, we're gonna get into the video from at Spirit Science, masculine and female energy, and I want to do this because I'll be always talking about women acting like men, men acting act like women. I want to realize that. I know we both as men and women got man, masculine and female energy. Yes. The thing about it is how to balance it. And I mean, and the properties of the masculine and the properties of the feminine energy and like leveling who you are. We both got both in us. And I mean, so like, I want to get that in about and what they doing is manipulating. That's why I'm talking about it. So this is like scientific way to show proof that they know we got masculine and feminine energy, so they know they do certain things. Even through the food, they go, through the food, the frequency, the movie, the pop culture, the, the way parents raise you, and, and, and so on and so forth. They can bring out that masculine energy that already lives grown within you, and vice versa for men with being feminine, and vice versa for men for being over masculine, and vice versa. This, they know the shit lies and and they know how to manipulate. They know us better than we know ourselves. Know what I mean? So it's That's like. That's keep you know who you are. Got it. I mean, and, and everything that entails. But like, we're gonna go into the, we're gonna go into the uh, on the second video. Spirit science for masculine and feminine energy. Like, share, subscribe to both of the channel. I know I uh, kept Samuel's past, but like, share, subscribe to him. And because I know most like his families, hopefully his families, you're gonna benefit off this channel and the views and stuff like that. Still, so, like, share, subscribe to Spirit Science. And let me into the video. Let's get it. A few weeks ago, we touched upon chakras and how they're at the source of what's affecting your internal systems. What we didn't talk about was the energy flowing within them. Now, there's lots of kinds of energy through and around all of us, and that'll be a future topic later on. Today, I want to talk about two specific energies that can be expressed through this image. The energy that flows here is male and female energy. Male energy is focused, and female energy is creative and random. Neither of them is greater nor weaker than the other, and both can be extremely powerful when fully manifested. Female energy is the land of unbridled possibilities, creative potential, and affecting the universe from within. Focused male energy takes direct roads from point A to point B. This energy can be as strong as a tank, accomplishing tasks and going where it needs to go with precision and without distraction. The important thing to know about this energy is in how they move. I'm going to use some super basic sacred geometry to demonstrate this. This is the Fibonacci spiral. We're gonna be talking a lot more about it when we dive into the topic. For now, all you have to know is that it starts at one and flows outward forever in a very specific way and is present in all life everywhere. As male energy flows through the spiral, it goes from base point to point, from here to here, to here to here. It doesn't curve, it just goes straight where it needs to be. Female energy, however, would flow in the actual spiral. It would go around, going in and around outside all of the lines, but still getting to the same or similar results. This is the graphic representation of how it flows, but it also acts in the same way. From this understanding, you can see how we use these energies in our lives. 
It's the difference between driving straight to work and being on schedule all the time, and taking the scenic route because it's a more pleasant ride, even if it means being late. It's baking a cake strictly by what it says in the cookbook and putting it together with what just feels right. It's getting that promotion for working the hardest and getting that promotion for coming up with the best ideas. Here's a relatable example. It's the difference between Inception and Sucker Punch. Both about dreams, but one of them being the masculine story of professional men just doing their no-nonsense work, trying to get the job done, and the other being the feminine story that was creative and random and, according to many, didn't make much sense. Both male and female energy, like the chakras, have their own traits. Male energy is linear, analytical, strategic, and practical. However, when male energy is constricted, it is very blundering and confrontational, and what tends to occur is not seeing all sides of a situation, or not being open to any other possibility other than the one being pursued. You can see a lot of that in today's society. Most commonly, we call it being closed-minded. Female energy, on the other hand, moves in curves. It does not stay inside the lines. It is creativity and movement and expression and emotion. It can do anything and go anywhere, but it has trouble sticking to schedule. If constricted, it can get out of its flow, running rampant between emotions and mood swings and ideas. The creativity could get jumbled and come out as an out-of-control mess. We don't have this widespread issue in today's society, and it has a lot to do with our brain hemispheres. We're gonna look at that in a moment. One big difference between the two is that male energy looks at parts and female energy looks at holes. Before I go on, I wanna make this clear. Male and female energy has very little to do with sexual orientation. Like, it's in the mix, but it's not a fundamental part of the energy itself. For example, if you look at the shape of male and female bodies, men have straighter bodies, women have curvier bodies. We'll probably come back to this in the lesson down the road. Okay, brain hemispheres. We have two of them. And if you remember what you learned in grade 10 biology, this will be familiar. The left brain is the male energy side of the brain. It is orderly, statistical, logical, and mathematical. It sees things in straight lines, rational and practical. The right brain is the female energy side of the brain. It is our creative side, a free spirit. It is passion and experience of taste and feeling, movement and art. As is the same with the energy, the left brain cannot make sense out of the right brain. You cannot put feelings and expressions within boxes. They must be felt to be truly experienced. The right brain too cannot make sense about how the left brain understands things. Okay, so as a species, we are primarily left-brained. Well, incredibly left-brained. This basically means that as a species, we essentially have a male energy imbalance. There is way too much of it. It is dominant and is constricting on the female side of the brain. Now, don't get me wrong, this isn't a bad thing. In fact, it's kind of a blessing in disguise, but we have to talk about some other things first. So, there's nothing wrong with our female energy. We're just not really using it to potential. Our male energy is really messed up, and that's why we're where we are right now. By where we are, I mean the economical, political, financial, religious, nuclear, dolphin and bee killing global war crisis. After lesson one, I touched upon how right now the world is a mess in a myriad of areas. A few people commented saying, well, study the financial crisis and study the nuclear crisis and study the political crisis. They're all completely separate issues. And this is how the male energy looks at parts. We're realizing now that it's constricting on our point of view. As a whole, all of these issues together are further proof that we don't understand how to be harmonious because our male energy is out of sync with each other and the planet. So let's look at indigo children and super psychics. There's a new type of children being born on Earth. Since sometime in the 80s, new children started appearing with different or unusual traits. Their numbers began to increase, and today, nearly 100% of all children born in North America are indigo children. But yo, you saw that video from Spirit, from Spirit Science, um, official, I Spirit Science official, and that was a great video about the masculine female energy. She explained it perfectly. And now, hope I get a grasp of why Woman is so off balance, and I mean, because they're leaning more to the mass, why the world so off balance, why men so off balance, because they've been liberally in these energies that really lay dumb within us. But um, what can women do to change this in the future and stop this for the next, stop the cycle for the next generation? Like, um, I can start first initially with yours to start off. What can women do to change this in the future and stop this cycle for the next generation? Become self aware. And becoming self aware. It's not only like, yo, I'm self-aware. Becoming self-aware takes work. Becoming self-aware is being self-aware in the moment. Becoming self-aware is seeing things, observe, objective, objectively and subjectively sometimes. You could be on the outside seeing things and, and get kind of get juicy how other women's conducting themselves or other men's conducting themselves. We're talking about women, so other women's conducting themselves and you kind of, yeah, that, that's not the way to do that shit. Like, oh, is this how I'm really feeling? Is this the right way to do this? Or is this doing, like, really analyze your thoughts. You have to become self-aware. And become, from becoming self-aware, you can start analyzing certain things, the actions, the content you intake, the food you intake, how you think, how you conduct yourself in public, who, who you hang around with. But that's becoming self-aware. If you just 
go with the flow and like Andrew Tate had the great analogy of being like the feather and the forest government and the world take you. You have these kind of friends, you don't analyze them. I mean, this bitch out snake, you probably gonna fuck your man. Or she was getting you into trouble. Or she didn't already, are you listening to no offense or listen to city girls all day and fucking men sound all day and you're going to dance all day then you got, you fucking this thing, fuck this thing and then you get this thing from this and you're not really coming to you just going with the flow. That's how it's gonna happen. You, everybody be kind of become a self-aware and become live life intentful. Or you're gonna involuntarily, subconsciously teach this to your, your daughters or teach a man, not know how, man, hopefully you have a stable home, but if it's a single woman, family house, or you can teach a man how to be a little more on a submissive and feminine side because you got so much of an aggressive masculine personality. Besides the fact, all the things I just think is very masculine, at least to the masculine side, worrying about money, worrying about power, manipulation, status. This is like, it's the left side of the brain thing. And if you want to be honest, we have to have a balance. But like you said, the man should come. We both have to have a balance. But in my opinion, I don't know how to, the, 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 um, the percentage, in my opinion, if you're a man, your masculinity has to be slightly higher than your feminine. But you have to be, I, I have a lot of feminine energy in me because I'm a creator, as you see, in these creations, art, I'm an artist. Okay. But, and as a feminine, because one, it can't be hyper. Because if it's like 80, 20, that's you be hyper masculine, or 80, it's going to be hyper. It has nothing to do with being female or male. No, I'm talking about, I, I'm, I'm including both. I'm talking about the, the energy that lay dominant in both of us, the yin yang, the feminine and male. Things if you are balanced. If you're a male, I don't know if it should be 50-50, if you want to be honest. It should be like, balanced. Yeah, I don't know if it should be 50 And creativity and execution. Because if you we, if we want to be honest, like, oh, maybe it could be 50-50, maybe yeah, women. Yeah, creativity and execution. And, and, maybe, and maybe women's coming in with more of a 70-30 balance of masculinity and femininity, creative. which is they nails, they hair, the way they dance and all that shit. A woman should be able to um be creative and, and execute, and a man should be able to be creative and execute. And when they come together, you know what I'm saying, as one, a woman, a man, a man should be able to now, um, now what we were saying from the beginning, understand our roles. So a man should be able to execute. A woman should be able to, you know what I'm saying, create and nurture. You know what I'm saying, the execution. But at the same time, a man should also have the the balance of the fifty fifty, where he understands to be creative and nurturing to his family, to his woman, and to his situation. And then you know what I'm saying. So I think it should be fifty fifty. And the overbalance. I think that's the problem now. I think it's an overbalance of masculinity in men, and there's a definite overbalance of masculinity in women. And since they say it's not a female or male thing, but it's a mind thing, so it's a frequency and vibration thing. So everybody's thinking in separate parts. Nobody's looking at the whole. So a woman's only thinking about, okay, let me let me become independent. Let me get my let me get my the man is thinking, yo, son, I'm about conquering this man the third. And nobody's thinking about the whole substance of the sun, moon, and stars, the whole universe, family structure, and so on and so forth. They're doing it every way, man. They make women, like I said in the first part, they make women not want to be women. They make men but men want to be men, but we got a skewed perspective on men. Skewed age. perspective on men. Like, age, uh, yeah. like I said, I'm not saying uh, like growing up, men are supposed to cry. I'm not saying you anything over excessive crying all the time. You got tough and fucked up, but men, men can't cry. Men is not supposed to uh, uh, show any emotion, show any emotion, emotion basically. Or show like, show like, oh, this is men ain't supposed to talk to other men yeah. about problems. It's to keep hold that, it in. It's to keep that bottle up. They know that. And so to keep, fucking nuts. Right, and you're not be able to express yeah, your creative side to another that. man and so by the first to keep it on a masculine dominated. So they do it in every fast. So like, why my whole point of this is that like, don't believe and don't get it twisted, man. These motherfuckers are geniuses. Don't get it twisted. Don't don't have that much hubris to believe that it's. Y'all thought process for a long time. I still got it every day. For a long time, it was my thought process. I was always blessed to be able to think, but sometimes in the moment, I mean, the matrix would take me. Then after the moment, God think I was blessed enough to be able to analyze it afterwards. Like, nah, that shit was weird. That shit was mad. That shit was nah. I'm not gonna do that shit again. A lot of people don't got that fucking privilege. That's why I know I'm, I'm here for a reason. Niggas ain't for anybody that got that. Everybody's on the site. That's looking at this shit like that. Subscribe. Chosen one shine bright. My nigga. Yeah, so so that because we got we know this for a reason. Because a lot of people don't want to analyze. Everybody's going to different journey. Absolutely. Everybody's going to different journey. So I'm glad I'm able to analyze. But I'm not going to lie. Like, nigga ain't perfect. I, I don't got COVID many times. It's just now as a recent, I'm able to analyze foresight. And in the moment, breathe better than I did before. You see what you're, what you're doing. That's what everybody need to do. I mean, and that's what 
That's what and that's what they that's what they manipulate. They because manipulate that what shit. you're able to understand, what I probably if you don't understand or not, but what you're able to do is understand what I've come to understand. Past, present, and future is running simultaneously with each other. So, right? Everything that we everything that we done said in the first segment is in the past. While I'm still in the present, executing my next word that's going to be in the future. So if you live in the present state, like you say, and never live in the past, and stay in the present state, you're always moving toward the future. The and you always then, in the past. yep, and then you can analyze yourself. When you're in the present state, you can analyze. But if you're always looking backwards, right? Damn, I messed up with this and that. And you're always looking forward of what is could be, and you're not living in the present state. You're never even an appreciation of what you have. You never thinking. You never. You, you will never be able to manifest what you want. Cause you ain't in the present state to even sit down and think to focus in on the future. You know what I'm saying? You live in in many different worlds, but not this world. You ain't living in the present. You don't even realize you're hurting her. You're hurting your family. The things you're doing is hurting your kids. The things you know what I mean. The things you're doing is hurting your mother. The things you're doing is hurting your father, your sister, your brother. Nobody's realized because you're so far gone, living backwards. Oh, I got it. You know, it's like you know, it's like you. It's like you you in the stock market, right? Like when I used to do the stock market and you messed up and you lost a hundred dollars and you're trying to get that hundred dollars back. You can't get it back. You know what I'm saying? That's why they always tell you, yo, bro, you make it when you leave. You lost the money you leave. Tomorrow's the next day. Keep you know what I mean? Stay in the present state and move forward. Um know what you want yeah. in a man. Yeah, I, I believe that y'all go for what you the told pop, it, what you want. Mm-hmm. The status quo one. Sometimes you may be into some nigga, but you're like, nah, I'm like this. And you'll go for what your friends want or what Instagram or what a better on social media. Change your mindset. Be you. Okay. And everything that entails. You know what we said? Real talk, man. People are so quick to tell homosexuals to be you. And so quick to tell somebody that's have a number, have an abnormal quirk. Be you, it's okay. I may not agree with it. As long as you ain't hurting nobody else. Of course. Yeah. But be you, but people so quick to tell that. But when it comes to just you knowing yourself and you being fully yourself, whether it's like I like I like them short and chubby. I like the guy that's like a teddy bear. Absolutely. But you like, oh, I know my friends like it. And you really do this and we love him. Like, that's my man. You can stand on it. Why is we don't get taught that though? You get taught to change the same thing. Like I said, like I said, my show a few months back. I like, I'll be, you be on Instagram or whatever fucking social media platform. And I remember back in the days when black women look like black women, Spanish women look like Spanish women, Asian look like Asian. Everybody look alike. Like, like, I agree, right? Have the same style, hairstyle, swag, take the same pictures, take the same poses, wear the same clothes. Awesome and gender. Son, it's never like, remember back in the days when we were assimilating. Maybe, um, the, um, Spanish women have like, probably like the door now because they have the fucking roller, have that, like the kind yes, of Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. black woman may have. Like everybody have a different look. Everybody, the right group have a valley right. look. Everybody has a different Jesus look. Everybody has a different look. That's why I love the 80s. The that's 80s. The, the, 80s was, the 80s was a good example of everybody just that's being, good. just that's doing themselves. Good. Even with hip hop music, you had De La Soul, you had Tribe Quest, you had Cool G Rap, you had NWA, like Ice T, you had Schooly G, you had every fucking thing. Now it's just this. You know what I mean? Machines. It's just this. Because everybody got the same mindset. Everybody's assimilated. None niggas who clone Tyrone. How is different cultures? Because they're the only one race, the human one. So, but how is different How every culture is basically the same. I'm talking about the Middle East. The, my store, the ox in my store that I fuck with. I love the ox in my store. Like, they, like, they seem like us. Like, 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 it just makes no sense. Like, if everything is the same. And nobody got any different swag no more, which made the world beautiful. My last word is this, man. Woman, know yourself. Love yourself. You're enough. Mother Nature, Mother Earth. Stop fucking for the okie doke. Being a woman, I say being a woman and play your book, that, that's not a derogatory It's statement. more than enough. It's the it's most important amazing. thing. Y'all that's why I'm here. Because so of women. Important. We are all here because of women. Brought us into the world by birthing us and risking their life. Lives to bring us here because they could have died for us. Falling for the okie doke. Being a woman is enough. We both got masculine feminine energies. That's what part two is about. That's but the at balance. the end of the day, on a physical side, love being yes, a woman. Please. Because guess what? 
I'm going again. Wells Fargo Economics Report a record breaking 52% of women are on marriage as of 2021. It wasn't yeah. always like this. And can I say something? Oh, it was not always like this. This shit is raising by the year, and that's for a reason. The same system I'm looking at in 2021. Pretty sure it's raised. The the problems are based on the shit. Yes. And that's mainly. That is working. And that's mainly dealing with black African people, yeah, black really. African women, and then later Hispanic women, but really black African women. So that is nothing that but doing. That's nothing but population control. You know what I mean? You can birth the next great leader. You can birth the next great doctor. You can birth the next great peacekeeper. You can birth the next great prophet. But if you're not getting with another person to have intercourse to birth children and you're dying alone, you don't have no babies, you don't even have the chance for that baby to be born in, whether it's born from a dysfunctional family, whether it's born with Malcolm X and his mom and his father's children, then his mother go and then mental assignment still created Malcolm X because that was meant to create Malcolm. So you can't question the journey, but we need the kids to be born to have the journey from the beginning of the time. Of the time. There's always going to be concubines. Like you said earlier, do you want to be, you be that? Concubine. That's it. That, 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 the whole point is go, there's going to be loser, dweeb ass niggas, and burn ass niggas all the time. Until, until it burns time. out. But guess what? My whole thing is that. Who are you? Who do you want to be? Mm -hmm. Guess what, lady? I don't even who you are. You don't got to be. You don't want to be part of that percentage. Mm -hmm. All you go again. So choose who you want to be. So you I mean, could be the person. Yeah, you can get out of here. You could be the person walk in the room while everybody's wearing red, and you're the only person wearing blue. Or you could be the person who walks in the room and wear red like everybody else and fit in. Just like, fit in. Like I said, like, share, subscribe. Like, share, like, share, subscribe. Ring the notification bell as well. But my last word. What's your last word? As above, so below. So below, as above. Now, I mean, also like, share, subscribe to love, like you always say. Yeah, Chose subscribe one. to love, baby. Chosen one shine bright. The L stands for life. The L stands for loyalty. The L stands for liking. And you know, the L stands for motherfucking love this time. But at the end of the day, keep me under grace, never under law. My negative thoughts is weak, and my positive thoughts is immensely strong. And so is y'all. Until next time, episode 74. Oh, well, almost going for two years. Oh my, about to see you in two years. years. That's Still the dope, gold. nigga. Still gold. One plus one equals two. One times one equals two quantum figures. Physics. Whoa. Trust me.